where are there? Demolitions are being planned in Middle East St. Hill's area. Three to four tower green. Three to four. Well, I can't knock that down. Three. Oh, yeah. Our old ones is two. Yeah, that street's all empty over there. Well, it's all right to knock down. What's the point of knocking down if, uh, if he's, he's got no money to do anything with the area? I mean, we're stuck here in limbo. You're not filming me. I've never even had my hair combed. <laughs> Get out of it. Maureen Woodier moved to St Hilda's when she was 15. Her husband Dando was born and raised in the area. They have lived in their house for 33 years and have been married for 52 years. Did um, you chat her up? No, she chatted me up. She chatted me up, had my uniform on. Oh, yeah. I'd love to, he wishes. I chatted you up. He only tagged on to me because no one else had happened. So haven't you ever been that romantic then? Of course we have. How do you think we have now friggin' kids? <laughs> <laughs> they never had tellies. <laughs> it was marvellous. Yeah. If you'd had an out and your neighbour had uh, yeah. your neighbour had they'd give you and if you had you'd give them. But in our day and age you didn't have an out to give because we didn't hardly get an out. Do all these, like? I know what's going to do all these, like. They're living in the water, Missy Land. I mean, what are they? Are they beach mats to lie on a beach? <laughs> what are they? They're <laughs> And they're, they're supposed to be going to be flats, aren't they? Because I've seen the original plans. And they, these six houses here, they were going to put a row of bushes here. Because I said, the first word they said, I said, you mean to tell me you're not going to my house down to put a bush there? Sure, I mean, getting people out of the house just for that is ridiculous. <laughs> Mr. Lackpart. Well, you keep cool. paying them the council tax. If it was left to me, I wouldn't I'm pay. I'm not going to pay the child. I'm going to let them take me to court. I'm going to let, let everyone in the middle for know exactly what they're doing to us over there. They're not helping me, so I'm not going to help them, no way. Why should I make it happen? Let me see if they're making it happen to me. That's what I mean. It's them they've got to be bothered about, not me. Because I'm, I'm not bothered. I'd go to jail. But he won't. Would you mind? Oh, well, I mean, where can, what, what are we achieving? I know, I know, when you see. Well, at the end, I think, that me and him will go out in a box, and our lads will keep this. I think so. Yeah, they'll knock it down the cells and keep the land. Mm. And let's see where he's going to put his raw bushes then. Maureen, would you be happy dying in this house? Well, you should have about friggin' dying. I've got one foot in the coffin now. <laughs> um, I know some of me and her's going to get pneumonia yesterday if we stand here much longer. They love it, these. Oh, they... in and the tube among many others but in the last few years we've lost a number of award-winning programs so how do we stop ourselves becoming invisible well northern film and media hope a series of documentaries will help keep northeast voices on the national screen charlie charlton's been given an exclusive preview over the borders one of seven documentaries made in our region by local filmmakers about northeast communities it's set in the St Hilda's area of Middlesbrough, where land's been sold, leaving only 12 houses. It's these stories the film industry wants the world to hear. I mean, everyone has problems in the family. I've got 64 grandkids. And I'm the first who admitted two of them's been in prison. And I would say that's good going for 64 grandkids. But what's it like for Maureen, having her family home shown on a big screen at Gateshead's Baltic tonight and being in front of Tom Marshall's camera? He's all right, this young lad. I took a liking to him. That's why I done it. Because someone has to stand up for us, haven't they? We have memories you couldn't buy. 
Excelente honores. But these memories now are going to be down on film and they're going to be there for, for a long time. Oh, never ever be forgotten about it. It'll never ever be forgotten.